Ross Harris is accused of leaving his two-year-old son Cooper in a hot SUV in Cobb County in June 2014. The trial moved to the city of Brunswick because of publicity. Channel 2's Ross Cavett is there live with what's happening now, Ross. Well, Carol, in many ways, it's like Groundhog Day here at the courthouse. Uh, the lawyers are drilling uh, into a second group of jurors, uh, asking them many of the same questions they've been asking other panels of jurors as we go through this tedious process of jury selection down here. As we reported yesterday, they had pushed six of the first panel of 12 through to uh, the next round, which will happen next month during the trial. So there are six potential jurors now. Uh, in place, but uh, they need 42, so we have a long way to go before we get to the number that they are looking for. I talked to WSB legal analyst, analyst Esther Panich a short time ago. She's been sitting in the courtroom, and it's, she says these jurors appear to be of a different makeup than the groups we saw up in Cobb County. Uh, we have had a lot of people who work with children here that I don't remember seeing in Cobb as many. So a lot of people working in daycares or uh, in schools or as nurses with, with children. So it's, it's kind of a little bit of a different dynamic and I'm pretty sure that it's somebody the defense would not want on their jury. But again, it is fairly early in the process, and they're going through this only the second group of 12 jurors at this point, and it's unclear if by the end of the day they'll be able to weed out how many of those 12 will be eligible to serve on this case. We're live outside the courthouse. Ross Cavett, Channel 2 Action News. Stay with Channel 2 Action News for continuing coverage of the hot car death trial. We're going to bring you the newest developments on Channel 2 Action News starting at 4. We're also streaming the trial at rossharristrial.com.